This is about the position of your heart into God. The woman with the issue of blood, she'd searched everywhere. Listen, and this lady searched everywhere. She had a condition of blood. She was going to die. She'd lost so much blood, so many problems in her life. She'd talked to every doctor. Nothing could heal her. But she finally got to a position and a place in her life where she was no longer looking to man, and she began to look to God. She finally got to a place in her life that she inclined her ear to hear. That she got to a place that she turned away. Listen, she turned away from her normal routine of going to doctors. And she turned aside to what God was calling her to. To what God was doing. To how Christ was doing miracles. She turned aside from where she was going. And she watched where Christ was going. And she followed him. And when she did, she didn't just wait for something to happen. She reached out and grabbed a hold of him. And when she reached out, her miracle took place. When she reached out, she, she literally positioned herself to receive from God. And when she did, she received. When she gave up the rest, the miracles began to happen. Her attention was to touch his garment, just a piece of him. If I could just do this, this is what I need. And she was saying, just a glimpse of Jesus. Just a glimpse of him. Just one touch. Listen. One touch from God, and I'll never be the same. And that's what we need today. Is you need a touch from God, and you'll never be the same. You don't need a good message. You don't need a good preacher. You don't need a nice building. You don't need anything else. Just one touch from God, and you'll never be the same. Right. It'll change your life forever, just like it did with this woman. Think of the man they dropped through the roof. And Jesus is preaching this. We've got to get him in there. We, we've got to get him. Well, we've got to do something to get him before Jesus. If only he could be in his presence. These people went all the way to experience, Jesus, experience what Jesus had for him. And guess what? His life was changed. Why? Because they stopped their everyday normal routine. And they turned to focus on Christ. It doesn't mean that you quit working. It doesn't mean, you know why I can tell you that? Because the scripture says that being lazy is a sin. It doesn't mean that you, you just go home and believe God's going to do everything. No, everything that they did, they had to take a step in that direction. They had to do something themselves. They didn't just lay at home and go, God, come and touch me. I'm going to sit here forever and provide for me, God. No, what they did is Moses did. He turned himself. He went a certain direction. He did something. The lady with the, woman, with the issue of blood, she went and pursued Christ even more. She pursued him no matter how hard it seemed. And let me tell you today, when you're pursuing Christ, it may begin to seem hard. It may begin to seem like everybody else is getting in the way. Everything is getting in the way. This lady was sitting in the crowds of people going, if I could just touch his garment, if I could just get one touch in, just one, I'll now be changed forever. She pushed through the crowd. She pushed through the distractions. She kept her eyes on Christ, and she kept going until it happened. And she didn't give up. She could have said, look at all these people around. There's no way I could touch Jesus. Look at all this that's happening around him. There's no way that this is going to happen. I'm going home. No, she continued to press in no matter what it cost, no matter what it took. She went forward. Amen. Amen. 